So first of all, I wanted to say hi and thank you for all of those who have subscribed to me in the past couple of days, which is a lot more than I would have ever expected about me burning my hair. I just want to say, first of all, thank you so much for all of those nice comments and people sticking up for me and really being there for me. It means a lot. But for real, like, those of you who have shown sympathy for me and sent me nice comments, that really does mean a lot, especially with all these mean comments coming in. One of my favorite comments was, maybe you should try reading a book instead of messing around with your hair. That's a good idea. You know, because just because I do my hair once in a while, I never read. Another one. You sound like a nine-year-old. Thank you. Like, just so you know, I grew up getting teased about my voice a lot. People would call me chipmunk voice. I'm not ashamed. I know I have a higher voice. Another person, you sound like a nine-year dumb bimbo. So, learn how to stop talking like a dumb butt. Okay, I'm sure you would sound dumb if you were in shock freaking out about something too. But, um, with this video, I just wanted to set a few things straight with that other video. First of all, mine is not fake at all. I don't know why people think it's fake. Why would someone fake that their hair fell out? I have no idea. But, that's not fake. Second of all, I wanted to say I know that video is really dumb and I look like an idiot but like a lot of your nice comments say I was in shock I had a burn on my hair I didn't know if it was gonna be like if I was gonna be completely bald and yeah at the time I was going crazy and at the end I'm not really crying I'm just like in shock like, that's my hair. And a lot of you guys said you shouldn't have brushed it out or pulled it out. But, um, it wasn't damaged hair. It was completely burnt off and was falling off anyways. I would move my hair and they would fall out. So, I knew that there was no saving that hair. Also, there's some comments going on about, it's just hair. Like, get over it. Um, and I know, it's totally just hair. That was just my first reaction video. I came home straight from church when I first found out and I just started recording myself freaking out. That's what that video was. Mostly just for me to have that memory because it was a pretty big thing that happened. So I know it's just hair and I, fit, I learned that. For a while, I was really upset. But it, after I got it cut, I felt a little bit better even though I had pieces like this long at the top and in between all my hair. Like, it was disgusting because that's where it like burnt off. Um, so I'd have pieces up here like just sticking up and I'd have to like hairspray it down. Huge chunk about this big, like this much, was really, really short. All in between, like I lost a lot of my hair. So for those of you saying, oh, I lose that much hair every day, I really hope that you don't, because if you do, I'd be really worried. As you can see, my hair is doing lots better, and this is after almost two years. So if you want to see it in the back, it's, it's really messy right now, but um, yeah, that's my hair. For those of you saying that it's from bleaching or dyeing my hair, I'm absolutely positive that it's not. I've never bleached my hair, and I only temporarily dyed it, and that was months before this happened. I don't know why it happened, because I had it on the lowest setting, and I've had done it two other times before with that same thing. So, I don't know what happened. It was probably my own stupid fault. I know people make mistakes. For those of you saying to stop doing your hair, okay, I never do my hair. I do my hair like three times a week, if that. 
I'm just joking around. Like, I don't care what people say negatively because this is really just something for my video blogs. As you can tell on my channel, that's pretty much all my videos are video blogs, some music videos. But I just want to clear those things up with you guys because it's getting so many miss, I don't know, judgments about it. And I was definitely not expecting that from this video from like two years ago. One more thing I wanted to add, you can say like any bad comment like about me and how dumb I am for doing that to myself, but please don't say that I don't care about cancer kids. Just because my hair fell out doesn't mean that I don't care about cancer kids or cancer patients who lose their whole hair. Like that makes me so sad. I've donated my hair for cancer kids. I There's something about cancer stories that really hit me in the heart and just makes me really sad.